How's it going YouTube? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. This tutorial is going to be over dual track and quad tracking guitar. Um, this is going to be more for the rock, alternative, metal, hardcore um, kind of folks that are subscribed to me and people out there watch my videos. So, check this out. What I have in front of me is a very, very basic song. Um, I'm going to be showing you before and after and how to do this trick. Um, I actually learned this from somebody on YouTube. They were posted on some of my videos and they were like, why don't you use this? You should be using this. So, um... It's a great trick. It's a great trick. So I thought I'd show you fine folks. So what I'm going to be doing is playing a little portion of the song here. All it is is going to be one guitar at the beginning, and then I will show you what happens when I dual track this guitar. So let's check this out. Okay, so you get the idea. It's not a very full sounding guitar, um, and that's just because it's on one track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two tracks. Um, these two tracks I have already set up for um, this dual tracking guitar trick, but I will show you definitely how to do this. I'm going to select one of my tracks, and as you can see down here, um, I am sending it to a bus. Um, not very much, uh, it's negative 3.3 uh, decibels that I'm sending to this bus. And on this bus, I am adding a reverb to this guitar. Now the reverb that I'm using is a very, um, a very small uh, reverb. It's going to be a spring reverb. Spring reverbs, if you haven't watched my Space Designer tutorial, um, is very very good reverb that you put on guitars. It is actually made to represent um, older style of amps that actually have a spring inside of them that gives them the reverb tone. All right, so um, I'm going to be putting that reverb on the bus track that I'm sending it, and then the little trick that um, I like to do, or um, that I was shown to do, is to take this one track and pan it one way. Um, not all the way, but portion of the way. I do it to negative 45. And then what happens is, the bus track with my reverb on, I send it to positive 45. So it's going to be mostly coming out of one of your speakers, and then the reverb for that is going to be on the other side of your speakers. All right? And then your other guitar track is going to be the exact opposite. Same reverb, uh, different bus, but I'm going to be panning it positive 45 on my actual track, and then the reverb track will be a negative 45. So it will have two guitar tracks on either side, but the reverbs will be crossing onto the other side. And what this does is it gives a very, very nice big tone. If you want to quad track guitars, you can do this exact same thing. Uh, one of the tracks could be, say, negative 45 or positive 45. The other could be negative 20, positive 20. Um, you could do that trick. Um, also, you could just have it like two tracks be um, on one side two tracks be on the other, and then have them crisscross, um, whatever you want to do. Quad tracks, I did it on one of my tracks, and it is huge. It is a very massive guitar tone. Um, so definitely check that out if you would like to. Um, but for this, I am just going to be showing you what happens uh, when I play these two guitar tracks at the same time. Um, uh, one thing to note is that that guitar track that I played before um, was actually a harmonization of another guitar track I had. So um, what is nice about this is that if you want to harmonize your guitar, um, you can do that very easily just because you are recording two separate guitar channels. Um, you can definitely harmonize um, one uh, the other guitar track. Uh, you can easily do that since you already have to record another uh, take anyway. So uh, let's give it a listen and see how um, much bigger it sounds. Okay, so you get it. It has a very nice full tone. Um, I would suggest doing this on all of those rock, alternative, hardcore, metal kinds of songs. 
Um, and all shout outs to the guy who showed me this. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go back and thank him again. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. This is, again, how to dual and quad track your guitar tracks inside of Logic Pro 9. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and hopefully I will be coming out with some more videos and be seeing you very soon. This is Mitch. Peace out.